Having an intro for your video or stream gives it that extra professional look, but also gives your audience amped up for the video or stream they're about to watch. But if you're not creative enough or skilled enough to make your own intro, don't worry, because Streamlabs has got your back with their brand new intro maker that's in beta that you can use right now. And I'm gonna show you all the cool things that you can do with it. So by the end of this video, you can make your own. Let's go. What is up all my awesome friends, wild for games here to help you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. When it comes to an intro for your stream or YouTube video, it's all about giving your audience a brief overview of what they can expect within your stream or video. Plus, it's also gonna kinda give your video or stream that extra little polish that's gonna make it stand out. All right, so let's add some polish to your videos or streams. Let's make an intro together. To use the intro maker on Streamlabs, log into streamlabs.com, go to the dashboard and click on the intro maker. A variety of pre-made intro templates will be available for you to customize. Browse the list and choose which intro you'd like to customize. After you find one that you like, click on customize to start editing your intro. Theme settings include the default background animation and audio for the template you selected. Each template has its own custom background, animation, and music that comes with it. There are over a dozen different intro maker templates, so be sure to browse the full list and see which audio slash background combo works best for you and your content. If you don't like the audio or already have a custom background that you wanna use, you can upload your own from here. Customizing and editing your frames. Each intro maker template comes with up to five frames you can customize. By default, each frame lasts for five seconds, but you can make this as short as you like, or you can make it last up to 12 seconds. When it comes to customizing and editing your frames, by default, at the moment, we give you a total of five frames, which we're gonna go over here in just a moment. But you can always delete frames if you don't think that they're necessary for you, or if you wanna make a shorter intro, perhaps for YouTube videos. Frame one serves as the introductory frame for your intro video. This will usually say something about the stream starting soon or welcoming people to your channel. However, you can customize this any way you want. Frame number two is dedicated to your social media profiles. Use this frame to plug your most important links. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram are set to default icons, but you can choose from over 35 other icons, including Discord, Reddit, Facebook, and much more. Frame number three is dedicated to your YouTube channel. You can add things like a thumbnail or your profile picture from your YouTube channel, so that way you can help promote that platform as well. Frame number four is dedicated to yourself. Use this frame to describe who you are, what you like to stream, and even add a picture of yourself. The text here is all completely customizable, so feel free to go in depth about yourself. Frame number five is all about your branding. I find this to be a great place to make lasting impressions by using your logo, your emotes, your badges, or even showcasing your merchandise. If you struggle with a logo at the moment, hey, guess what? Streamlabs also has a logo maker that you can learn about right in the top right corner over there. If you're interested in using the Streamlabs intro maker, you have to be part of the Streamlabs Prime membership program. If you need to learn more about that, gonna put a link below this video player here in the description so you can learn more about it. And if you like it, also sign up with it. But if you're already a Streamlabs Prime member, you can start using the intro maker right now. And I recommend play around with it, have some fun. It's a great way to give you that polished look we talk about for your streams or even your YouTube videos. If you need any more help using any of the tools on Streamlabs platform, hey, that's where I'm here to help you out. But until next time, I'm gonna throw a couple of videos here up on screen. It's gonna make you even better using Streamlabs. Wild for Games, wishing you the best of luck. And as always, take care and of course, peace.